All right, today we are capturing the last bit of hot rod action here in Portland, Oregon. This is the last cruise of the cruising season here. It's late September 2007. We're at Billy Bob's Hot Rod Cafe. There's been a threat of rain hanging over this event all day, but plenty of hardy cruisers have come to show their vehicles all the same. A four-legged fan. Now here is a real nice 1935 Dodge owned by Tony Aragon. Color coordinated interior. Yeah. So people can't say that we weren't. A touch of the new and a touch of the old with this 53 Chevy owned by Sam and Bobby Mullen. Nice paint job, among other things, on this 49 Chevy pickup here, owned by Rigo Gomez. Anyone for a bitchin' AA Arcuda? This Impala will fool you with the dual quads under the hood. If some of you have viewed previous shows of mine, you may have seen the one odd 55. What is not right with this 55 Chevy? The car is a little bit shorter than most. Somebody's mistress. A couple of real nice Mopars. And a good looking Impala with a big block in it. A car show would not be complete without a donk. Now this is Billy Bob Hot Rod Cafe's rendition of the General Lee. Not a Mopar you'll see every day. Nice tasteful flame job. Not a VW you'll see every day either. Yes, it is a Volkswagen tow truck. It's a 1958 model owned by Brian Stores. Now this 2005 Mazda is just creeping along. Yes, a bird of a different feather here. Looks like it's packing some ponies under that hood too. Oh. 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 
Holy cow. Back in 1971, they built the first Chevy Vega. Guaranteed, and none of them looked like this one. Now, this cruiser was built for comfort. I swear they think they're the size of what you see. Looks like three quarters of a seat in this baby. It's a 27 Ford, it's owned by Ben Stanley. It looks like the trunk is actually made out of wood, perhaps. And it's complete with the receiver hitch. And here's an example of a 1972 Vega. These cars are getting scarce. SS Chevelle looking good in the neighborhood and under the hood. Now this 56 has an interesting color combination. It's a Bel Air owned by Jeff Mostrom. Should be good for Halloween, eh? Halloween is coming up. A nice touch from the 50s. Another 50s touch right here. Blue dot, tail lights. We see that the 66 vet was at Hot August Nights this year. Whole lot of engine for a little 23T bucket owned by Pat Northwang. Oops, one more. Quite a number of these interesting cars are going to be winning some interesting awards at this event put on by Street Magic of Portland. I heard this one come rumbling in. It's got big block power under the hood. That was Jim and Debbie's 34 Ford three-window coupe.